everyone, Dr. Chris Fox here. Today we're gonna to take a look at the sign of the buttock. The purpose of this test is to assess for any risk of non-musculoskeletal causes for buttock or hip pain. You're gonna have your patient in a supine position and initially assess straight leg raise mobility. When the patient reports a, an endpoint where they have pain, it may feel firm or it may be empty, you're going to stop and note what degree hip uh, range of motion that is. You will then perform the same motion but with the knee flexed. And if they note again that the, the pain is occurring at the same spot, and this is typically with an empty end feel, then that would be a positive sign for a, for a sign of the buttock. You may also want to check to make sure that there's not a capsular restriction of the hip. If there were a capsular restriction, that might be another issue that's going on with the individual, but without a capsular end feel and with no capsular fighting, finding of restriction, the, the pain being located at the same spot for both the straight leg raise and hip flexion with the knee flexed is a positive sign for potential non-musculoskeletal causes of pain.